So the only thing left to do is just to put, apply the rubber seals that just prevents any water getting in from both the blade and the actual handle. And all that is just using a couple of reference surfaces which we're then going to turn into some models. So let's go back into our assembly and take a look. So I've already assembled up our blade and our shaft and our handle together in assembly. And I'm going to insert a new part in this design. Just picking the top plane here just to give us somewhere to go. And what I want to do is I want to copy all the surfaces that I might need to kind of trim to create this rubber gasket. So if I just pick all these surfaces and we're just going to do a knit. So all a knit does is if you're working off solid model, it effectively creates a copy at a zero offset. So it's kind of just one way of creating a copy of those surfaces. Do the same on the shaft. And let's go and open this information up now in its own window. So we're just going to open this part up. So effectively it looks like the whole paddle, but it's just like a skin of the surfaces I'm interested in. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to actually create a couple of splits. Now I want to um, create a kind of a nice rubber moulding, so it's going to be heat shrunking. Uh, so I need to create a gap that we're then going to blend between these two different diameter surfaces. And then I'm also going to actually uh, trim away all the other excess information. So we don't need the top of the paddle or the rest of the shaft. So again, it's just another trim surface. And just removing the areas outside of that rectangle. Okay, so that's given me kind of the, the either side of the collar. So we're just going to create a loft just between these two surfaces. Now because one profile is made of lots of different edges, I'm just going to use that selection tool again. And I want to make this look like rubber, so I need them to blend in. So a simple start and end tangency for both profiles will make it look more organic. Okay, and then it's back to our same method as before. We're going to knit all of these surfaces together to create one surface. And then we're going to do an insert boss base thicken. And we'll just pick this reference surface and give it a 1mm thickness. So finally finishing off just by changing the material, make it look like a soft rubber. And there we can see our kind of our blended in, it's shaped around that uh, tapered helix that's then fanning out. And we've got a nice rubber gasket and we just need to repeat that process to finish off our design on the top of the paddle. Well, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed that uh, little presentation and you've picked up some hints and tips on how to go about modeling some other components. I can't imagine there's that many paddle designers out there, but hopefully the techniques I use will give you an idea of how you could do um, other shapes that are similar. Um, I will be keeping an eye on the YouTube channel and answering any questions that appear on there. And please have a look at our other videos as well. So thank you for your time. Cheers.